Salutations, this is Grim Devel. Welcome back to our Let's Play of RimWorld Royalty. We are the Rebel Champions, uh, and I have renamed our three colonists. Uh, I've also given them new titles. Uh, we have Jarvis Watts, who is our genius. We have Eerie Wax, who is our psychic. And we have Seraphix, who is our ninja. I'm not sold on ninja for our, like, melee person that has all of these uh, melee enhancements, but uh, ninja will do for now. I, I was just not feeling super creative. Um, but yeah. I'm, I'm very pleased with, with our colonists. Um, so uh, someone has pointed out, uh, and correctly, uh, that uh, Seraphix, no, not Seraphix, uh, that Eerie Wax here, um, because of the psychic hypersensitivity, I mean, that psychic handover, like, it's all going to be pretty bad. Psychic harmony, yeah, it's all going to be pretty negative for us uh, because Eerie Wax is uh, psychically hypersensitive, and unless Eerie Wax is just happy all the time, it's going to be bad. And anytime we have something like a psychic droner ship or anything like that uh, that affects men it's going to not only like affect these two but have a double effect maybe even more than that because of the psychic harmony we have so I that might make things difficult but I also kind of like that kind of problem solving that's not regular rim world problem solving that we're used to having to deal with and I think it's kind of cool that with these three kind of like uh, superhero champions, we uh, we have to deal with that. We have to deal with these things that come with their super abilities. Like Eerie Wax is, uh, has like superb psychic power, but with that comes a cost, and I, I kind of like that. Um, so we're going to have to deal with that, and that's going to be fun. Uh, we're still kind of in the phase where we're just building a base, planting stuff, making sure that we have everything we need. Um, now, of course, Jarvis is the person that's doing most of that stuff. Seraphix is also doing some mining, uh, and we'll probably also do a little bit of uh, after mining, or maybe, yeah, I think hauling right after that, which makes sense. Um, and then maybe we'll have Eerie Wax clean before haul. I think I like that. But after wardening and animal handling. I think that'll work out. We're going to need food. We only have a couple of meals right now. So that's going to be our main priority. We need food. Uh, we have a little campfire set up to be built, which I think Jarvis will do as soon as he wakes up. Um, Eerie Wax. Uh, yeah, you're going to be... Hopefully we can get you feeling better in general before everyone wakes up. Although that psychic hangover, how long does it last? 30% uh, pain focus. I'm not sure exactly what that, how that works. 30% pain focus? I don't know if that has anything to do with the psychic hangover. Hopefully it won't last too long. We need to keep your backs happy though. So we're, we're working on bedrooms for everyone. We need to make sure everyone has a really nice bedroom. These are, they all deserve them. And of course we will work on getting other colonists as well at a certain point. Uh, we will definitely be accepting other colonists that will join our cause of defeating the Red Empire. Oh, I just remembered, I, I didn't even open the uh, the world map. I might not have to this level, or this level, this episode, because uh, it takes a little bit of time to load in, but uh, I was just excited about playing it. Um, yeah, Eriwax just hauling. Uh, how long until we wake up? Not too much longer change the sleep schedule also okay cool and earwax is the one that is a um, quick sleeper right you don't need that much sleep which is nice very nice and yeah you have a low break risk but your mood is not good we need to kind of protect everyone from your psychic harmonizer Hmm. Uh, the cool thing is that, is that the Psychic Harmonizer also affects people that... Are you just hauling that steel? Okay, I guess so. Um, it affects people that come onto the map, too. So even including enemies. Which is interesting. Very interesting. All kinds of new dynamics. All right, let's speed things up here. Uh, hopefully... Yeah, we just have a couple of minor break risks. Okay, thank you, Jarvis. Uh, I will set food to be made here. Oh, right, you can cook them four at a time. That's something that came with 1.1, I think. But I don't think we need to do that for now. Just do until you have um, 
six. Uh, drop him on the floor. Someone will take him. Okay. Yeah, I don't care what you make him out of. Uh, but we do need food. We need we need something to cook. Um, let's also this butcher spot. Yeah, we have butcher creature on already. Let's cook some food. Um, this is going to be Seraphix. Who's hauling? Oh, there's this mega sloth. That would be a good amount of meat. Although we don't have any meat. We don't have any uh, fr a freezer. So we don't want to like waste meat. Why don't you kill this turkey? Um, no, not what I meant. I meant Seraphix. You get drafted. Yeah, you just have a wooden club right now. We'll fix that soon. We'll probably make like a steel club or something. Um, just something. Because we don't want to use this uh, Link Mono Sword until we have... Um, he's calling his beds. Oh, because Jarvis is moving one. Um, until we have a, another Psychic Silencer. Uh, we can harvest these berry bushes there might be some that are closer to yeah great uh yeah let's watch this um are you fight kill that turkey bash oh they're hitting you back come on Seraphix. ow really all right hold on uh, the turkey scratched Seraphix in the torso, leaving a gory opening. Not really, though. You just have a little bruise. That's all it was. And you have your um, your shield belt. All right. Uh, yes. Melee it to death. Please. Please? Okay. Now bring it on back. Uh, let's make a little corpse stockpile. Uh, just by the campfire. Um, yeah, this is fine here. And this will just be no rotten, just fresh corpses, no, uh, just animals. All right. Good. Oh, you didn't kill it? I thought you killed it. Come on. You're better than the Seraphix. That's kind of wild. I really thought, even without a weapon, that you would be doing better at that combat. Um, I mean, you did a lot. Uh, but I thought with all of these enhancements that you would be using those more. Eh. I mean, you tore off its head eventually. You did a lot of damage. It's interesting. Oh, we're going to be relying on Seraphix for a lot of our combat. We'll see. I th I thought that might go a little faster. Uh, well, we can we can, we still have the sword, also. Thank you, Jarvis. And you should be cooking. Good. 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 Where'd you go? Oh. Went to get those berries. All right. That's fine. Cool, cool. Only one minor break risk with Eerie Wax. Really? And everyone else is okay? Yeah, even with the... Wow, that's a really bad Psychic Harmony. Because the Eerie Wax is not happy. All right, well, now you're relaxing, so you're getting your recreation up, which is good. You're in serious pain. Oh, because of the hangover. And also, something else gives you pain, right? The silencer. The silencer gives you pain. I forgot about that. It's bad. It's bad. Okay. We got some meals. Uh, let's, like, make... Soon we're going to want to make, like, a table um, and chairs and everything. Let's just make something in this room. Uh, I, don't, I don't need to pause it. Just something small for now. A little table. And some dining chairs. And a lamp. Just somewhere for them to eat. 
so they don't get unhappy about that. Every negative mood is going to count. Um, we do have a little bit of medicine. We have two medicine. So we could install a learning assistant in, uh, in Seraph, uh, yeah, in Seraphix, right? Probably not the most important thing right now, but couldn't hurt. Uh, we have three meals. Not a lot of turkey meat. I think we need to do a little more hunting. Um, what else is around besides that mega sloth? Like in the nearby vicinity. Nothing really. Nothing super close. Um, look at the wildlife tab. We have some does. Muffalo. These would be good to tame. Uh huh. All right, Seraphix. Uh, where are you right now? Yeah. Um, boy, it would be good to get you a better weapon. Than this terrible wooden club. Um. Jarvis is relaxing. We can make a crafting bin, a crafting uh, area. Maybe we just get something up for now. A knife, a knife or a club. I think I think a club, and we'll make it out of steel. Oh wait, oh yeah, uh, I would make it out of jade, but I think I'm gonna wait until we can make a mace to do that. We'll just make it out of steel. And Jarvis is going to do it. And that all and then Seraphix will be able to do a little bit more damage. Yuri Wax and Seraphix, I'm going to keep getting confused because the names are slightly similar. Uh just for a little bit. I'll I'll get it. I'll get it. You guys are talking, hanging out. When Earwax is asleep, do you have the harmonizer? You do. As long as we're close together. And I wonder if the range of it increases because of your psychic hypersensitivity. That's possible. Yeah, just hanging out outside. Very lovely. Yeah, this is going to be bad. We're gonna have to make folks happy. Uh, you can just drop that. Seraphix, you're gonna equip that steel club. Good. And then we're gonna kill ourselves. Oh, do we need to, can you even get through here? Mind that out. Uh, you're going to kill yourself a gazelle, I think. Is there something closer? Umlo. Oh, up here. Yeah, it might be closer up here. Kill that uh, doe. That'll be some good meat. All right, Jarvis keeping us fed. Uh, we have a little bit of wood. Yeah, we have a decent amount. We should, can make the table and everything and chairs. Going all the way there to get the berries, huh? Kind of annoying. Okay. Hope you didn't just get 10, but I think you did. Oh, didn't watch this. Um, how did that go? You dodged the strike. You tripped while trying to cut the deer with your hand talon. You lacerated the deer, gnashed the deer. The deer jabbed you in the left humerus. Seraphic slashed you in the right rear leg. Okay. Please kill it. All right. Well done. Haul it, and then you can rest. Okay. It's something. Thank you, Jarvis. Good, good, good. Excellent table. Yeah, we'll get furniture for everyone, make them a little happier. All right, I guess we're going to need chairs for this as well. 
Cool. Thank you, Jarvis. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Don't use the medicine for that. No, 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 no. You just have some bruises. Uh, you did use a medicine. A medicine was... Oh, no, you didn't. Okay. Good, 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 good. Yeah, no medicine. Medicine we need for surgeries. And since Seraphix is here sleeping, why don't we give you that... Um, neuro, no, not the neurocalculator. Learning assistant. Right? Yes. Earwax has one. We want Jarvis to have one, but no one can install one in Jarvis yet. Um, we will need you to get medicine for that. Operate. Seraphix is asleep for the night anyway. All right, Earwax, what are you doing? Hauling bear is good. Please do. Okay, excellent. Okay, chunks of spacecraft, very nice. That's a bunch of components for us, and they're very close by. Um, not our main concern right now. Do we have components? We do have... Oh, yeah, we got a bunch. All right, so we're fine for now. We'll get them later. Well, we're running a little, a little low. Okay. Let's keep going. Uh, no, no break risks right now. Seraphix, not Seraphix, Eerie Wax is in an okay mood. That pain. Yeah, we're going to have to figure something out about that at some point. Everyone still has their initial optimism, but that's going to go away. Slept in the heat, huh? Yeah, we're going to need air conditioning. We're going to need all kinds of things. We need, we need boosters. Um, let's get everyone dressers. And end tables. And that'll make everyone a little happier. And we'll make art. We'll do all kinds of things. We're gonna we're gonna do all kinds of things to make people happier. We'll get floors. Um, wood might not be the best material. We're gonna want to get some stone cutting up sooner than later. We're also gonna need a workshop. We're going to need a freezer. We're gonna need all kinds of things. All right, Sarah fixes up and around. And you're mining. Um, oh, right, down there. Yeah, okay. That won't take long. Uh, do we need more steel? I don't think so. I think we're good on steel for a good while. Seraphix does have planting on. Plant cutting and growing, so um, can help out with that a bit. In fact, before hauling and cleaning... Maybe before cleaning. Yeah. But you will be your main hauler, even though you are slower than everyone just because your armor weighs you down. But look at that mining. Look how fast. That's beautiful. What? No, as long as you're here, mine it. Don't come, don't walk all the way back down here just to mine that out. I like this little dock. That's cool. Uh, we could get some power. Yeah, you know what? We're, we are going to need more power. And it might be nice to build... Oh, we need to research. Yeah, we need, a, we need a research also. And maybe I can just put a little research bench in here, actually. A simple research bench right, right there. Is that okay? Does that make sense? I think it's fine for now. I know it blocks this door, but um, not, not a huge deal. We can move it later. And we're going to want an advanced one later anyway. Just to have somewhere to research. Jarvis is going to be busy doing other things, but... And what are we going to research first? I think that's a good good question. Uh, harp, huh? That would make people happier. I think. I assume. Noble apparel. A lot of new stuff. Um, we will want a water mill generator. Yeah, I'm gonna go for that. Let's research that first. We have air conditioning. Batteries might be good too after that. 
So much stuff to research. Uh, we will also want to kind of beeline for um, another for another social not um, silencer, psychic silencer, and also maybe joy wires. Joy wires, I think, are going to be okay for. Um, I, it lowers consciousness. That might be. F I don't know. Maybe it's not fine for anyone. Maybe they're just going to have to live with pain. It's too bad they're not masochists. Um, all right. Thank you, Jarvis. That's helpful. We have four meals. We have no more meat. So we will need to do more hunting soon. Um, I might leave it for the end of the day. Uh, Eerie Wax is wandering. No one's... Oh, you are idle. They're both idle. So we have no more planting to do. Um, and apparently no cleaning or hauling to do either. All right. I guess we'll do some hunting. All right, Seraphix, come kill that buck. An eerie wax. What else can I have you do? I mean, you can keep yourself happy, I guess. Is there anything... Is there anything that we can have you actually do that you're not terrible at, eerie wax? I mean, you have passion for crafting. I could have you... I could have you cut blocks. That would be a good thing. Um, let's get a stone cutter's table. Um, for the time being, it can be in here. We'll probably move it later. Oh, all these, these really nice chairs. Excellent chair, excellent chair, excellent chair, good chair, excellent chair, good chair. And they have art on them. Let's see. Jackboot's abilities. Oh, we don't even, your name isn't even Jackboot anymore. You're Thomas Erie Wax Drake. Your name is no longer Jackboot, yet it says Jackboot. It was made, it was this chair was made after we named you. The furniture is bare the furniture bears a resemblance of a blue pillar of rock, partially embedded in the ground. Jackboot, not actually Jackboot, Erie Wax, looks on with excitement. The work is shaded in hues of black and gray, though few would expect it, the subjects are in front of a cowboy. The illustration refers to a meteorite following near Jackboot's encampment. So it's true that when the meteor fell uh, and became a meteorite, Eerie Wax was named Jackboot. Maybe that's how it is. Maybe it's an historical thing. That's interesting. And the kindness of Jackboot. The furniture is engraved with representation of Thomas Jackboot Drake practicing social skills with a bored expression. The scene is surrounded by four failed experiments. The work is executed in an amateurish yet attractive style. Unusual for this kind of work, the whole image is depicted by the careful arrangement of two sex spots. Whoa, Jackboot. This image refers to Jackboot becoming a master at social tasks on the 14th of April, May. Uh, uh, AKA Eerie Wax. All right, how about this one? Vision for power. The furniture is engraved with an artwork of a mallard wearing a shoe. I wonder, like on its head, a hummingbird sits beneath the main subject. And this one. 26, the furniture bears an image of a planetologist flying through the air, holding an arrow. The focus structure of the image almost conflicts conflicts with its Fauvist style. Okay. All right. And you're waiting for more wood, and we are out of wood. We've run out of wood. Let's do some, uh, some more chopping. Uh, yes, please. And then... Uh, I think I need to put in a cut. So this is... Um, and I'll, I'll designate some more trees. This is, uh, this is going fine. We're dealing with the, oh, a masterwork end table. Beautiful. An excellent one. Good dresser, good dresser. Um, I enjoyed playing with you today. I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.